if you're ready to proceed, we put the first witness on the stand. In the ongoing case pertaining to the ownership of the late Top Cohen's estate, Gabriel Hanna Van Susten, the sister of the late Dutch tycoon today took the stand, claiming his late brother was forced into his marriage with Sarah Wairimo. I started to say that my brother Top was in a fight with the neighbors about his land. And then Sarah said, if you don't marry me now, they will send you out, they will how do you say, deport you out of the country. So it went chick chuck, wedding and done. Gabrielle says she received a mail from Top Cohen detailing where she would get his will in the event that the accused killed him. Okay, the will was sent with me in the same email. The will by Chegi Kurundi was read and opened in front opened in front of the press. According to Gabriella, Tob made it clear that the deceased wife was not entitled to any shares of his residence situated on Farasi Lane. She says the way stipulates that she was to get 50% of the house, while 25% was to go to her son, with the remaining 25% meant for her cousin and relatives. It is a matter of record that the lawyer known as Chege Kirundi has indicated at all times that he has retained that will in his personal custody and has refused to surrender it to the police. I just go on record with that so that we finally find out who actually has it. The sister of the deceased father says the only will she's aware of was the will that was read by Shege Kirundi, the lawyer of the late Top Cohen, at his office on the 19th of September 2019. Have you ever come across this will? The family of the late Rob Cohen is being represented by senior counsel Danson Omari with the opposing counsel led by senior counsel Philip Murgor. The volumes of documents we have produced.